Hey there. We're here to help you install your new smart router. You're just moments away from having a secure and reliable home wireless network, complete with high quality video streaming, gaming, and file transfers. Can't wait? Then open that box and make sure you have the goods. Smart router. Check. Ethernet cable. Can't miss it. It's the yellow connector. Check. Power cord. Check. For this install, you'll need to remember one more thing. So why don't you pause this video and get a pen and piece of paper to jot down some important information. First, look at the bottom of your new router. You will need to write down the following information. Wi-Fi name, SSID, and password, slash, pin. See it? Right there. Second, if you currently connect your wireless devices to your existing home Wi-Fi network, you will need the name and password of that network. Finally, you will need your Optimum ID and password. They allow you to connect to Optimum.net, manage your features and services, and customize your new router settings. If you don't have an Optimum ID or password, or if you just forgot it, go to Optimum.net slash ID info, or to Optimum TV channel 903 to create one, or to retrieve yours. These notes will come in handy as you install your new router. So let's begin. Place your new router near your cable modem. The cable modem is already installed in your home. It has lots of blinking lights on it. Your router likes to stand heads up somewhere in the middle of your home or apartment, and it prefers a clear view. Remember, the router works best with some elbow room. Solid objects like mirrors, filing cabinets, appliances, and furniture can seriously cramp its style. One more thing. Your new smart router won't be happy in the basement either. Now, before you do anything else, unplug the power cable on the back of your modem and disconnect the battery backup if your modem has one. If you have your own router or an older Optimum router, the time has come to say goodbye. Turn the router off, unplug it, and disconnect it from its power cord. Then, disconnect the Ethernet cable that connects it to the modem. And while you're at it, disconnect all other devices that may be connected to the back of your router. Hasta la vista, old router. Now you can plug that yellow Ethernet cable that came in the box into the yellow slot called Internet in the back of your new router. And connect the other end of the yellow cable to the back of your modem. It will only fit in one slot. This is also a good time to reconnect all the devices you disconnected from your old router to the four numbered slots available in the back of your new router. Next, plug the power cable back into your modem and reconnect the battery backup. You'll know that the modem is up and running when you see four solid lights. This could take a few minutes, so go ahead and grab a snack while you wait for the lights to come on. Back? Good. Next, plug the new router into the electrical outlet. What's that? No power light? Go ahead and press the power button on the back of the smart router. There it is, just below the internet port. This could take a few minutes to power up as well. Cue the Jeopardy theme. When the two lights on the front of the router begin flashing green, it's ready to go. Well now, it looks like everything is up and running. Great! Let's set up your wireless home network. If you're setting up your wireless network through a computer that is wired to the back of your router, you can skip this step. But if you're setting up your wireless network using a wireless computer or smart device, go to the Wi-Fi settings on that device. Here you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. You should be able to see your new router's default Wi-Fi name, SSID. That's the first thing you wrote down. Otherwise, you'll find it right there on the bottom of your smart router. Now that you've found it, select it. A password field will be displayed. Simply enter the password slash pin you wrote down. If you didn't take notes, no problem. You can find it on the bottom of your router. Now. Clear your computer from all pop-ups and open your favorite browser. Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Explorer, whatever. You should see an Optimum Router Installation page. If you don't, hit the refresh key on your browser. There it is. This is where you'll set up your wireless network. If you're replacing a previous router, we recommend keeping that existing home Wi-Fi network name and password exactly the way you created them. This will allow all your wireless devices to automatically connect to the network. If you choose to use a new network name and password, 
write them down on the sticker that came with your new router and place it somewhere for safekeeping. This will be your new Wi-Fi network name and password. Now, click on Save and Continue. Your network is now up and running. You can customize it and manage it by going to router.optimum.net. Remember, you will need an Optimum ID and password to access this site. Stick with me, we're almost home. The last step is to connect wireless devices to your new home wireless network. If you are replacing a router and you kept your existing home Wi-Fi network name and password, you don't need to do anything. All previously connected devices will automatically connect to the new router the exact same way they connected to the old one. For all new devices, or if you are installing a router for the first time in your home, or if you changed your existing home Wi-Fi network name and password, you will need to go through the following steps to connect all your wireless devices including laptops, tablets, wireless printers, and smartphones. On each one of your wireless devices, look for the wireless settings, then find the list of available wireless networks. Select your new Wi-Fi network name, then enter the password you set up. Your device should now be connected to your home wireless network. What's that? You're still not connected. Let's troubleshoot your install. First, make sure all cords are connected tightly and securely. Next, make sure your optimum router is standing upright. Still no luck. Let's reboot your modem and router. Unplug the power and the battery backup if necessary from your modem. While you're at it, unplug your smart router too. Plug the modem back in and wait until it is fully loaded. And if you unplug the battery backup, it's a good time to plug it back in as well. Now, plug in the smart router. Power it up and wait 30 seconds before you check your internet connection using a web browser. That's all there is to it. Here's a quick recap on Router Installation 101. First, unplug your cable modem and disconnect your old router from the rest of your equipment. Next, connect your new router to your modem and all the rest of the equipment. Power up the modem and the router. Wait for the right lighting sequence on both. Set up your wireless network on your Optimum Router installation page. Go to your wireless devices and set up your wireless network. Connect your devices and give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. For other helpful tutorials, visit channel 900 or optimum.net slash support.